This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone, welcome to our Oracle Golden Gate webinar on Oracle Golden Gate architecture and 21C new features. Before commencing the session, just a quick round of update regarding my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Ashish Agarwal underscore GG. So if you haven't visited the channel, I would request you to do visit the channel and do like, share and subscribe the channel. The channel is dedicated to Golden Gate related videos. Thank you. So in the today's session webinar agenda include Oracle Golden Gate 21C and OGG new feature. So 21C is the new feature new version latest version of oracle golden gate which comes with some features in comparison to 19c what are those we'll be discussing about that and we'll be discussing about different types of architectures in oracle golden gate so first of all about me i'm expert in oracle golden gate and oracle database technologies i have now almost 15 to 16 years of training experience in golden gate i have high rated courses available related to oracle golden gate classic architecture microservices very data i have trained more than like this number what you see it's quite old so the latest number is i have trained more than 7000 trainees and taken 270 plus corporate batches so far so the number is increasing and that is the latest number i'm oracle golden gate certified as well as oracle certified professional i'm blogger speaker i i've present my papers in a lot of universities in a lot of oracle user groups related to golden gate so i have uh, my own youtube channel which is youtube.com slash ashish agarwal underscore gg which is dedicated to only oracle golden gate you can always email me at ashishagarwal ag at gmail.com. You can tweet me your queries at ashishagarwal ag. Or I'll share my WhatsApp number with you as well. You can always WhatsApp me or you can find the details of my WhatsApp on my YouTube page as well. The number is available on my YouTube page as well. So you can always email me, call me, WhatsApp me. I'm available almost 17 to 18 hours a day, except the timing when I'm sleeping or when i'm with my kids but about apart from that i'm always available so today's session agenda so just to give you overview guys i have two kids my personal life as well i have two kids two small uh, daughters one is three and a half years and second one is going to turn one in next week so i have a young family as well so today's session agenda Introduction to Oracle Golden Gate, Oracle Golden Gate different architectures, Oracle Golden Gate 21C new features, and we'll have you'll be having question and answer session as well. So, guys, I want you to focus. I assure you, next 60 minutes are going to be an awesome learning for you. If you are here, if you have come here for learning, I assure you, you will be learning something new. You will be learning a lot during this session. So, my request to you is keep your phone down for next 60 minutes. If you have any urgent notification to answer, I'll give you next 10 to 15 seconds to answer. Please do answer it. And also you can post your questions always in the comment section or in the chat window or in the form link, which is provided here. And I'll answer your question. So your 10, your 15 seconds I'll give. Your 15 seconds starts now before we commence the session. This conference will now be recorded. Oracle Golden Gate, what and why? So Oracle Golden Gate is a near real-time transactional data replication tool which replicates the data in near real-time. So you must have seen nowadays, like there are a lot of job openings related to Oracle Golden Gate. In fact, all the job openings related to DBAs now require Oracle Golden Gate technology as mandatory it's not like they are just looking for people who have basic knowledge nowadays what is happening is because golden gate is widely used and the impact of oracle golden gate or the advantage of oracle golden gate involves lot of usage like it is used for business intelligence it is used for replication so replication is one of the feature of oracle golden gate but apart from that it has lot other benefits like your it, it is used for business intelligence purpose like lot of organizations are using it for business intelligence they are using it for lift and shift they are using it for 
setting up the uh, they are they are using it for data migration they are using it for data transformation so golden gate has lot of benefits and it is being used for lot of other purposes apart from one to one replication so oracle golden gate serves lot of purposes for you so that's why golden gate is one of the hottest technology in the market now with golden gate replication may be unidirectional or bidirectional or multi dimensional so golden gate is not only one to one replication like you have site a and you want to replicate it to site b it's not like that golden gate can also support bidirectional replication that means both sites can be live and that replication will happen to other side it can also be multi dimensional like multi multiple sites are involved in oracle golden gate and you can replicate the data among them to keep all the sites in sync you can choose what you want to replicate you can you can skip you can skip the data you can do the data transformation data filtration there are a lot of benefits golden gate comes with so with golden gate replication can involve several sources and targets simultaneously so it's not like one on one replication you can use you can have multiple sources single target that is data warehousing architecture you can follow or you can have one source single target golden gate can replicate the data so basically you can broadcast the data as well so replication can involve several sources and targets simultaneously and be used for distributing data for backup hot standby auditing reporting warehousing load distribution etc so you can use golden gate for multiple purposes data may be replicated as is so you can replicate the data as is or the replicated data may be edited transformed split into different distributions have metadata added or filtered both dmls and ddls may be replicated in whole or in part so as a, as as i was telling you you can do data filtration as well as data transformation in oracle golden gate so data filtration means say for example there are 1000 transactions happening on source you want to replicate 10 transactions out of those you can do that golden gate allows you to trans uh, filter out the data as well as golden gate allows you to transform the data as well so say for example on source you have got salary and commission column uh, separately on target you have only salary column and you you want that the addition of salary and commission column from source should be should be replicated to salary column on target you can do that with golden gate so golden gate has multiple benefits apart from that with golden gate it not only replicates dml transactions for you it can also replicate ddl transactions so alter modify drop commands can also be replicated using oracle golden gate for you so golden gate serves multiple purpose for you so who should learn oracle golden gate your dbas apps dbas plsql developers technologies responsible for data replication high availability data technologies cloud migration like golden gate nowadays is widely used for cloud migration when organizations are migrating their data from uh, on prem to cloud so this golden gate is widely used nowadays there are a lot of projects who buy short term golden gate license like say for example six months one year and they just use it for migration purpose and once migration is completed they will revoke the license so and that's why they hire golden gate administrators on short term contracts as well and they pay really well for that because golden gate is still considered a niche skill and not many experts are there in the market so it's really beneficial so if, if you see my linkedin post i'm not sure if you are connected to my linkedin if you are not do connect to my linkedin yesterday only i post 22 hours before i posted one uh, shared one post from alex lima he's one of the product manage manager of golden gate at oracle he posted this Today there are 243 remote position they are asking for golden gate skills in us don't miss the opportunity it's a great skill to have and the demand continues to increase so this is one of the hottest technology in the market and of course another important thing is it pays you well 
of course there are a couple of things we, we look when we start our career first is growth second is salary and both are really very important we cannot both has to go hand in hand right so of course golden gate provides you that capability so why learn golden gate golden gate is used by almost all top banks and telecoms and large enterprises with big budgets or higher paid job so it is being used in almost all the domains when i talk about five to seven years back golden gate was primarily used in uh, telecom or banking domain but now it is being used in food industry drug and uh, drug industry as well like shoppers drug mart is using it it has been widely used and also the top uh, if i talk about five years back the major portion of golden gate was coming from U united states north america side i should say and no, not in north america i should say us in fact canada was not using it at that time i am talking about 2017 but now golden gate is widely used all over the globe so when you talk about middle east dubai qatar when you talk about india india in uh, just to let you know reserve bank of india has made it mandatory to use oracle golden gate for all the banks so there is huge demand apart from that in europe you talk about sweden you talk about switzerland you talk about poland you talk about any european country netherland everywhere golden gate is now widely used apart from this canada now canada top banks like cibc scotia everywhere golden gate is being used so golden gate now has presence in almost all domains and all countries australia new zealand they are using golden gate now so all means this good demand of golden gate is very huge everywhere that's why you see another important thing is why there is so much demand of oracle golden gate because organizations are using it and if organizations are using it they need to have a person to implement they need to have a team not a single person but they need to have a team for it right and of course since it's a niche skill it pays you better in as per indeed data of 2022 december golden gate administrator earns up to 130000 dollar per year in comparison to oracle dba where the average salary is 80 to 90000 or i i would say 95000 if i take the maximum budget per year and i'm talking about in dollars so you can convert to other country countries like india or what it means here so it you can expect minimum 25 to 30 percent pay scale so today employers expect dbas developers to know more than one task in golden gate is niche and in demand skill i'll tell you one more thing around couple of years back when this cloud was launched i used to answer almost 250 questions per day combining email whatsapp my personal blogs where people were worried that with regards to dba with with introduction to cloud our dba job going to be extinct my answer at that time and now remains same see you have to keep yourself upgraded i'm not talking about learn golden gate learn different technologies which are in demand so that you are you are always in demand it's always like always keep in mind when organizations have to fire least 20% people the bottom 20% people will be given pink slip and it may be based on their performance it may be based on their knowledge it may be based on their skill set right so multiple things are there so if you can show in your tech so 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 if they have to compare between you and the another person if say for example if you have db along with golden gate in your resume and the other person has only dba in, your, in his or her resume so definitely you will be given chance so if you if so you have to be you have to all you have to be always on your toes and learning new technologies always help and if you are in demand with the ongoing market as well so golden gate is one of the te technology but my answer to that question when people used to ask me was always same keep yourself upgraded i i won't say learn golden gate i won't say learn uh, odi i won't say learn any other technology learn something which is niche and which will always be in demand and i'm a, i am going to tell you this golden gate about golden gate it is going to stay here at least for next 5 years 
see we don't know about technology like they keep on changing so i cannot say that golden gate will remain for next 30 years i cannot predict that right if it's here to stay for next 30 years i'm a i will be always happy but you never know i cannot forecast people ask me other another question that do you think golden gate will remain there for next 20 years i say this changing technology we never know some other player will come into market today it's oracle now tomorrow it might be some other quest may come up with something yeah they are coming with their products right so we never know what happens in future but yeah as of now if you talk for next five years you are safe and you can make a lot of money and a lot of growth out of it and the thing is when you learn one technology others becomes easier to learn so that's another thing so with cloud implementations customer wants real-time replication or zero-time migration data migration using golden gate so these are other things okay dbas developers architects can set apart by upskill stay ahead in career and better paid in oracle golden gate so now we'll move to the technical part again so oracle golden gate there are what are different types of oracle golden gate architecture so different types of oracle golden gate architectures are oracle golden gate classic architecture and oracle golden gate micro services architecture so there are two types of architecture one is classic second is microservices so just to give you a brief overview golden gate was founded in 1995 it was named after famous san francisco golden gate bridge now initially when it was introduced it was golden gate only in 2009 oracle overtook it and since then it is known as oracle golden gate now oracle golden gate is one of the hottest technology since oracle overtook it like golden oracle made major changes in golden gate and since then the graph of oracle golden gate is on a, a world trend in terms of customer satisfaction in terms of uh, benefits and everything support so if, if you have to compare compare golden gate 11g and 12g 12c there were a lot of changes if you have to compare golden gate 12c and golden gate 19c a lot of changes so until 2017 there was only one way to configure golden gate and that was through command prompt ggsca so until 2017 there was only one way to configure oracle golden gate and that was through command prompt ggsca so this is how ggsca looks right so this is the traditional way of configuring oracle golden gate so until 2017 this was called as oracle golden gate in 2017 oracle renamed it to classic architecture so now this type of architecture when you set up manage troubleshoot configure golden gate through ggsca command prompt it is called as classic architecture now still if you go out into the market the market share of classic architecture is four times than microservices so still classic architecture is the dominant player in the market but microservices is future of oracle golden gate and let me tell you 21c is the last version where classic architecture is available post 21c it will only be microservices architecture okay so if i have to give you so classic architecture is available since beginning of oracle golden gate it is command prompt based it is available for both oracle as well as non-oracle database oracle golden gate microservices until 19c is available for it microservices architecture was basically launched in golden gate version 12.3 onwards so golden gate version 12.3 onwards microservices architecture is introduce so oracle golden gate microservices is available from golden gate version 12.3 version onwards it allows you to set up manage troubleshoot configure golden gate through gui so one of the major feature of microservices is gui it allows interaction with cloud applications so a lot of things are moving to cloud in fact golden gate also has launched 
its cloud feature which is golden gate cloud services so on that you have got microservices as well and until 19c golden gate microservices was available for only mic only oracle databases now from golden gate version 21c onwards microservices support has been extended to non oracle databases like mysql sql server db2 postgres and oracle so five databases are supported now from golden gate 21c from microservices onwards so golden gate classic architecture is available for both oracle as well as all non oracle database until 19c from 21c that's still the case microservices if you are using golden gate version microservices 19c in that case you can only use oracle data uh, you can only use microservices for oracle database but from 21c onwards the support has been introduced for five non oracle databases as well so just to give you a brief overview So Golden Gate microservices. So until 12. Dot, I would say until 12.2, it was only OGG classic architecture. Okay, until Golden Gate version 12.2. From 12.3 to 21C, OGG classic and microservices coexist that means you can decide and choose which version you which type of architecture you want to use whether you want to use classic as well as microservices you, you can decide okay and then from 23 on 3 onwards which would be the upcoming version it hasn't been launched yet but yet 23c is going to be the new version the beta version i heard was introduced but i haven't tested it but yes it's still it's in progress so from 23c onwards it will only be microservices classic architecture is going to be deprecated but still as i told you if you go out into the market you might still see or the chances are you will still get to work on classic architecture but oracle is planning to upgrade its customers to microservices architecture a lot so going forward in future you will see microservices architecture okay now there is one more product in golden gate family which is called as very data have you ever heard about very data very data is a product which allows you to verify the data so say for example on source you have 10000 records in a table on target you have 9000 records so what very data can do for you is it can identify the discrepant records for you and it can repair those discrepancies as well so very data is kind of a data verification tool and it is nowadays very widely used because of these migrations cloud migrations or on-prem migrations going on organizations want to confirm whether their data is in sync or not upon migration so that's why very data is getting very popular nowadays so one of the major feature or the only feature I should say for very data why organizations are using it is because of data verification. So it is used to find the data discrepancies between two objects and it can repair those discrepancies as well. Okay. So guys, if you have any questions, I would request you please do post in the chat window here. Or you can always post your questions in the link which I share. Okay. Now, let us discuss in detail about Oracle Golden Gate classic architecture and how it works. So, classic architecture. So, just to give you a brief overview how microservices looks like. So, microservices looks like this. Your you have got this page and you have got four services there administration server distribution server performance matrix server and receiver server so multiple services are there and the difference between classic architecture and microservices is there are some of the components which are different between classic and microservices so oracle golden gate classic architecture this is how the architecture looks like so you have a source database and a target database so 
your source database can be oracle or any non oracle supported database same way your target database can be oracle or any non oracle supported database so whatever changes you make those changes gets recorded into the transaction log of the database that is if we talk about oracle redo logs or backup of redo logs which are called as arcan logs once the changes are recorded golden gate capture process which is also called as extract process it reads the transaction logs in sequential manner and captures committed transactions only remember one thing golden gate only captures committed transactions it doesn't capture any uncommitted transactions so whatever changes are happening on the source database those transactions are recorded into the transaction logs once they come there the golden gate extract or capture so remember capture is an extract terms are used interchangeably same way delivery and replicate are also used interchangeably so the extract process or capture process captures the data from source database and writes it to trail file on local machine which are called as local trail file once the data becomes available into local trail file so remember these local trail file these trail files the format of the trail files are binary format it just like our uh, archive log files the format of these trail files is same as the archive log format okay so whatever extract process captures the extract process captures and write it to local trail once the data becomes available into the local trail the data pump process sends the data over tcp ip network and writes it to the trail file on target machine which is called as remote trail so extract process captures writes to local trail pump process captures the data from local trail sends it over tcp ip network and writes it to remote trail on target database once the data becomes available into remote trail the delivery or replicate process reads the data out of your remote trail and apply it to target database okay so there are three processes involved here capture or extract data pump process and the delivery or replicate process these three processes are responsible for replicating the data from source to target database i again repeat this architecture is really very important guys to understand golden gate and trust me if you have understood this golden gate architecture you have learned 50% of oracle golden gate i'll tell you when i started my career as oracle dba i started in 10g okay my teacher at that time told me that if you have understood the oracle database architecture you have completed 70% of you have learned 70% of oracle database and trust me i really think that but the oracle database architecture is so vast and so complicated golden gate architecture is pretty easy whenever you have to set up golden gate troubleshoot issues related to golden gate uh, whenever you have to monitor golden gate everything comes from this architecture and this architecture is pretty simple what i'm telling you so extract process captures the data write it to local trail pump process reads the data from local trail and writes it to remote trail and then the replicate process once the data becomes available into remote trail will apply the data to the target database these three processes are responsible for replicating the data using oracle golden gate and remember one thing golden gate only captures and hence applies the committed transaction no uncommitted transaction is captured by oracle golden gate now golden gate also supports bidirectional replication so bidirectional means both the sites will be live whatever transactions are happening on site a they will be replicated to, to, to site b similarly whatever transactions are happening on site b they will be replicated to site a as well so if you see my the setup so these are the virtual boxes which i am showing you they the same would be shared with you for training as well so if you see here i have created these processes like exc int 19 dp int 19 so these are the extract pump and r means so the one which starts with e it's the extract the ones which starts with d it's the data pump and the one which starts with r it's the replicate so these processes are responsible for replicating the data 
from one server to another server is there. So Golden Gate is used to replicate the data from one database to another database using these processes. So you can set up Golden Gate in bi-directional environment. Both the sites will be live. So now whatever setup you have done from site A to site B in the same way you will done site B to site A. So here site B will have its own extract, own pump and own replicate process and the data replication will flow will happen. Okay. Now let us discuss about Oracle Golden Gate 21C and new features. Let me see if we have any question. So there is a question only DBA has to learn on OGG or PLSQL developer also has to learn. So Golden Gate is now the technology. I'll tell you about until five years ago or six years back. What used to happen was organizations were looking for people having organizations were looking for DBAs having Golden Gate knowledge. But now the scenario has changed because Golden Gate work is so much and Golden Gate advantages are so much. Now organizations are looking for people having Golden Gate knowledge. So when you possess the Golden Gate knowledge, it basically you get all the benefits of growth and salary. Now, another thing is, uh, Das has a question. What about microservices architecture? So microservices also we'll be discussing. It's a post discussing about 21C, we'll be also discussing about microservices as well. Okay, there is a good question which says that, uh, can we skip classic and learn microservices? I would answer that question. I wouldn't say yes convincingly or no convincingly for that. The reason I'll tell you, I'll give you one analogy for it. And I give it to a lot of people as well. Initially when DOS was there, right? I means when I compare, I, I, I put it on myself. When I started working, I started working directly on this Windows GUI, right? Now, And prior to that, it was DOS. So when I was comparing my seniors at that time, they used to have much more knowledge on Windows at that time because they worked on command prompt, that is DOS. So they internally know how things work, right? Same thing I apply here as well. What happens is you can learn microservices directly, no issues with it. And you will be able to understand and you will be able to gather all the info and you won't miss anything. But the thing is, when you learn classic, this is my personal suggestion I'm telling you. When you learn classic, what happens is you internally get to know how things are working. Internally, you know. You better get to know like internally how things are prog progressing. So that helps you in troubleshooting, understanding be in better way as well. So if you ask my two cents on it, my two cents would be learning classic architecture before microservices helps you in understanding microservices in a great way like it can reduce your learning microservices time by almost 30 to 40 percent but if you go with microservices directly as well that's also absolutely fine you will be able to grab knowledge no issues with it okay now Sarvanan has a question do we have any delay in sync without target db three Delay in Golden Gate depends on multiple things. It's not related to target DB or with target DB. It can be related to your configuration, setup, transaction size. A lot of things are analysis. I always say one thing. If you analyze your database prior to setup, it differentiates. It makes a lot of difference. So it depends on multiple things that are big topic we can discuss it separately now there is a question from ashima what are major differences between oracle golden gate and quest salesplex there are a lot of difference like oracle golden gate is a product which is which works with heterogeneous database like i'm telling you what i have noticed and what i have because i have worked on both the products a lot that's why i'm telling you so one of the feature is heterogeneous database compatibility second thing is ease with it ease with which 
it works with uh, different databases like when we have to set up oracle golden let me tell you one thing when you work with oracle golden gate on oracle or non oracle database it works in the same way 95 percent of setup remains same it's just that five percent which differs and which differs how you connect to the database so when you connect to the oracle database it uses tns entry however when you connect to non oracle database it's it uses your odbc or jdbc connection or different way right however when we con when we compare quest shareplex in that case the connectivity part the, the setup is different between different databases okay another important thing is which i consider very highly as of now is oracle golden gate is a product of oracle and the support related to oracle is much better than quest and another thing is oracle database still is the leader in market in terms of database so golden gate works seamlessly with oracle database so in my opinion ease of use with of oracle golden gate is much higher than quest shareplex and also the configuration wise support wise golden gate is much better as of today i'm talking about okay now there is a question from jayvardhan when we say oracle golden gate classic architecture is deprecated does it means integrated architecture also okay to answer this question so guys there is a question from jay which states that oracle golden gate classic architecture is getting deprecated so does it mean integrated architecture is also getting deprecated who else has that question please type yes in the chat window and i'll take that question later on okay nagaraj has a question if i want to learn golden gate now is it classic or microservices i need to learn i would suggest both first learn classic and then learn microservices it will be easier from 23c only microservices as you told also oracle pushing for microservices i heard yes my oracle is now pushing its new implementations new customers to microservices a lot so i'm working as plsql developer there's a question i'm working as plsql developer we are migrating source to oracle exadata source tandem to oracle data i'm doing all the extraction to replicate into oracle exadata i have to give the replicate things to oracle dba i asked them to give the access the only dbas can do replicate that's why i'm asking either pls you need to get access to golden gate and database once you have it no, so you don't need access to the database you just need there are certain database level prerequisite which you can send and once you have that like creating the user and granting the necessary privilege there are certain set of privileges so what happens is i'll tell you nowadays is oracle golden gate administrator and oracle database administrator duties are getting segregated so what happens is if anything related to database needs to be done oracle golden gate administrator sends it to database administrator and they then they work on it so it's not like only dbs can work on it anyone who has knowledge can work set up troubleshoot that okay why they mentioned the name as microservices uh that question needs to be answered by oracle Hemant. i cannot answer that to be very honest so microservices yeah okay i think now i understood your question sorry so you mean to say because yeah it of course it it is a service based architecture if i have to answer it so because it's a service so golden gate classic architecture is process based architecture processes run. however in microservices it's services which runs so as i showed it to you you see here there are different services like administration server distribution server performance metric server receiver server so services run in microservices so i believe that's why they name it like that okay now so microservices gui is one of the feature remember it provides you a lot other benefits as well so i should not say only gg i would not say that gui is only the feature gui is the primary feature but apart from that, it serves a lot of other features as well. Microservices are container based. Now, there is a question from Akshay, which is very valid. Is classic works with microservices? Absolutely. So the different types of architectures 
which golden gate supports is so there are different types of architecture which is which is possible like your source is on classic target is on classic that is supported your source is microservices target is microservices that is supported your source is classic and target implementation is on microservices that is supported same way your source is on microservices target is on classic so yes that is also supported as well okay so ramesh has a question normal setup and golden gate hub advantage disadvantage so golden gate hub is not part of because of time constraint i think i won't be able to take that topic but i'll try to do some webinar separately for it or i did discuss about it in the uh, live training as well okay okay shiram has a question if classic is decommissioned it's not decommissioned i said it is deprecated okay so why do we need to learn very good question but shiram understand one thing classic is just getting deprecated so let me tell you still there are 10 percent as per oracle data 10 percent of implementations are still there which are using 11g golden gate 25 percent are still there or i would say 35 percent are still there which are still using 12.1 then rest is 12.2 19c and 21c still percentage wise it's very less okay the reason being why microservices is not why why organizations are not upgrading to microservices is there are a couple of reasons first is organizations are not ready to or they are like afraid of breaking things which are already running second thing is if you still go out in the into the market the microservices expertise is very less so the, someone has to give suggestion to them like say for example i'm working for an organization and i'm a golden gate expert over there working on classic architecture right now if i don't have microservices architecture and organization rely on my advice right so until and unless i give them microservices recommendation they won't even try to do that they will go on my advice because i haven't learned microservices say for example so what will happen they will continue to use classic and say that our expert are not giving recommendation on upgrading it right so so the reason why they are still using classic is because of expertise and because of uh fear out of fear they don't want to break something so the thing is why you want to learn classic the answer is still if you go out into the market in current scenario the high probability is you will still encounter classic and second thing is learning classic makes learning microservices easier for you okay so golden gate is a licensed product separately licensed product and license cost will be same for classic and microservices don't quote me i'm not a license expert i am not an oracle employee as well so whatever i tell you in this webinar about license or anytime you hear me related to licensing cost don't take it as a final word the anything what oracle says will be final oracle account manager and i would recommend you to contact your oracle account manager for it but if you ask me as per my discussion with oracle whether you use you buy a golden gate license when you buy a golden gate license you can use either classic or microservices okay but yes the answer to the question is golden gate separately licensed product yes it is a separate licensed product is there any kind of advisory introduced for must memory or server resource which is ideal for current setup absolutely it comes as part of prerequisite it comes as part of your uh environment so it differs so, th so there is no advisory but yeah based on your experience you will be providing your recommendations for it okay so there is a question for vikram microservices are container based no it's a service based architecture i understand that's what you are looking for vikram okay so we'll continue and we and you can continue to post your questions in the chat window so ravi is asking what is hub and spoke gg architecture can you answer briefly okay that is i can answer briefly but yeah i'll be discussing in detail in my live training about that but just to answer it what happens is in golden gate what you can do is uh what happens is golden gate establishes connectivity with different databases 
right so say for example you want to replicate the data from db1 to db2 right so there are two types of options available you can install golden gate on the same server where database is installed okay so what happens here is dg1 will be installed on database server on the same server where database 1 reside in the same way gg2 will be installed on the same server where database 2 reside so there will be two set of golden gate installation which will be managing two different databases so basically you have to manage maintain two separate golden gate in that case so this is called maximum performance architecture now another option is you can set up golden gate in hub and spoke so what hub and spoke means is say for example so so this type of architecture means is you you have one golden gate installation for each database now what happens is in another option what you can do is this database 2 resides on server 2 database 1 resides on server 1 now what you do is to install golden gate on server 3 okay instead of installing golden gate on database server you install golden gate on server 3 so what will happen golden gate installed on server 3 will extract the data from database 1 and will apply to data apply the database to database 2 this golden gate can extract the data from multiple databases as well like db3 to applying data to db4 so same golden gate could be used for multiple databases so this is called as hub architecture where one golden gate installation can serve multiple source and target data so now the what is the advantage of hub architecture is the advantage is the maintenance wise it becomes easier to maintain because now here you only have to maintain one golden gate instance instead of multiple golden gate instance but yes the answer to another another question is in this case the performance might you cannot say or i always when i implement this kind of uh, setup i always tell my customers that i cannot guarantee maximum performance because in that case it becomes network dependent as well okay and let me tell you another thing is hub implementing golden gate in hub environment doesn't reduce the cost because the as per oracle the cost is taken license cost is taken as per source and target cpu number of cpu cores so if you have four databases here so number of cpu cores for database one plus database two plus database three plus database four will add up to the cost okay so now let us move forward guys you can continue to post your questions in the chat window okay so now oracle golden gate 21c new features so the release of new oracle golden gate is available with microservices architecture for databases other than oracle so as i told you from 21c onwards microservices architecture is now supported for oracle as well as five non-oracle databases then you have got oracle database unified build support that is one of the major feature so if you remember in until 19c when you have to install oracle golden gate during the installation it used to ask one question to you select the database for this oracle golden gate installation whether your database for the oracle golden gate 19c which you want to use are you going to use it for oracle database 19c or 18c or 12c or 11g so if you if your database was 19c you had to select the correct version if your database was 18c you had to select the correct version but and by chance and, and another important thing was suppose if you are upgrading your database in future in that case you have to work on oracle golden gate upgradation as well but now with 21c the advantage is it's a unified will build support so when installing oracle golden gate 21c you won't be no longer prompted to select the database version for which you are going to install oracle golden 
so this is the major feature of 21c that it has unified build support so now suppose your golden gate is on 21c and database so you are running is 12c right now and later on you decide to upgrade your database from 12c to 19c or 21c you don't have to worry about golden gate now. golden gate can work as this but if you are on any version prior to 21c if your database is getting upgraded say for example 12c to 19c in that case you had to reinstall for apple golden gate okay so that is one of the major feature apart from that automatic extract of tables with supplemental logging is supported. So one of the major feature of 21C is automatic extract of table. So once you enable the supplemental logging, so supplemental logging is needed for enabling the Oracle Golden Gate on the table. So sub, to, to, to enable the Oracle Golden Gate replication, right? Now with, so what happens is, and prior to 21C, what used to happen is, once you enable the supplemental logging, then you have to provide the list of tables in parameter file. But now you do you might in from 21c onwards, if your database version is of also 21c, you don't need to do that. Once you enable the supplemental logging at the database level, automatically your extraction will happen. You don't need to provide it separately in the Golden Gate parameter file. Then you have got enhanced automatic CDR for Oracle database 21c. So automatic conflict detection and resolution feature which is used in bi-directional environment was introduced in golden gate version 12.3 right now that feature is now enhanced for oracle database 21c then another thing is autonomous database on cloud extract is supported so prior to 21c only replication to autonomous database was supported only extraction to autonomous database only replication to autonomous database was supported but now automatic database extraction is also supported now from 21c onwards so that is the major feature so large ddl replication is also supported then you have parallel replicate support so that is another feature which was introduced in golden gate version 12.3 parallel replicate so when until 19c parallel replicate is the feature which is available only for oracle database but from 21c onwards it is also supported for heterogeneous database like sql server db2 and mysql so from the from golden gate version 21c onwards microservices architecture is also available for heterogeneous database and also big data adapters so golden gate is also used with big big data Classic extract was deprecated from 18C onwards from Oracle database. However, from Golden Gate 21C onwards, classic architecture is deprecated as well. Okay, so there was a question earlier which I was mentioning. With the introduction of, with classic architecture getting deprecated, does integrated architecture also getting deprecated? Guys, let me answer that question. There are only two types of architecture. One is classic. And second is microservices. There is no integrated architecture available. And what is integrated? There are two types of extracts available in Golden Gate. Okay, one is classic and second is integrated. Okay, so the answer to your question, J, is integrated extract will still be there. So there are two types of architecture, classic and microservices. So remember one thing, classic means traditional, the one which was available since Golden Gate was launched. So there are two types of architecture classic and microservices and there are two types of extract so under classic extract classic architecture you you can configure classic extract or integrated extract similarly under microservices architecture you can configure either classic extract or integrated extract so integrated extract is here to stay now one thing is from golden gate version 18c onwards 
classic extract for oracle database was deprecated but from 21c onwards classic architecture is also getting deprecated basically from 23c i should say okay classic extract is no longer supported from sorry this is classic extract was deprecated from database 18c okay now classic you cannot use in uh, classic extract at all from golden gate 21c at all okay and classic architecture is deprecated for below database oracle db2 mysql postgres sql server and big data Now, the future of data integration auto automation, automation is through microservices, which enables organizations to transform, automate, and scale their data movement environments. Microservices architecture is released for database for which classic architecture is deprecated. Future of Oracle Golden Gate is microservices architecture, and Oracle is pushing its customer to upgrade to microservices architecture. So microservices architecture has been released for those databases for which classic architecture is deprecated. And this is the feature which we were talking about, automatic table extract. So from Oracle Golden Gate 21C onwards, auto capture mode is introduced. It requires Oracle database 21C or later. It is disabled by default. So to enable, you need to use the parameter in the parameter file, Tranlog options, integrated params, enable auto capture Y in extract parameter file. Then in DBA tables, you will find a new column which will be added as logical underscore application, but it will be available from 21C onwards. Okay. To enable the automatic table extract, use command alter table table name, enable logical replication. To remove the table from auto capture mode, you can use alter table table name, disable logical application, or use delete tran data at, at ggsci. Then there is parallel replicate support, which we were talking about. So parallel replicate support is extended for heterogeneous databases. So par parallel replicate was introduced in Golden Gate version uh, 12.3 onwards. So parallel replicate is one of the highly scalable apply engine performance wise it is really very good and in my opinion the performance of parallel replicate is five times faster than its contemporary replicate. It can automatically parallelize the apply workload and take dependencies between transactions into account. Now let us discuss about Oracle Golden Gate microservices architecture. So Oracle Golden Gate microservices architecture is a new REST API based architecture which enable us to configure, monitor, manage Golden Gate services using web based GUI. From 12C R3 onwards microservices architecture was introduced. So this is how your microservices architecture looks like. So if you see you have got your administration, so you, there are four types of services administration server performance metric server distribution server runs on source and then receiver server runs on target so on source you have got three services running and then you can also configure your receiver server it could be in disable mode on source same way on target you will have administration service met performance metric service and receiver service running and di distribution server on disable mode on target so you see here your admin server is here under admin server you configure your extract process so administration server admin server does the admin task for you of configuring the process managing the trail files everything is done under admin server so ex you configure the extract process which writes the data to the trail file once the data becomes available into local trail file the distribution server sends it over tcap ip network where receiver server receives it on target and then it writes it to look remote trail and then the replicate process applies it to target database. So it's a service based architecture. Microservices is a service based architecture. So these are the components of microservices architecture, administration server, service manager. So service manager manages all these services like service manager is a watchdog for all these services like admin server, performance metric server, distribution server and receiver server 
so administration server service manager receiver server distribution server and performance metric server these are the components so administration server administer supervise manage processes configures do configuration parameter files etc everything resides under administration server it is a central control entity for managing replication component create and manage local replica and extract without accessing golden gate installation so another major advantage of this uh, performance metric server is you might not need to you might not need require to the local server like when you are working on classic architecture you need access to the server where golden gate is installed but for microservices it's not mandatory you can you can manage or you can monitor oracle golden gate environment from any server which is a network and through web gui you can access that is the advantage receiver server receiver server handles all incoming trail files so whatever trail files are sent over tcp ip network via the distribution server receiver server handles that it works with distribution server now another advantage is it works with the uh, it provides compatibility with data pump process in classic architecture so it provides compatibility with data pump architecture as well okay then it uses different protocol like you, you can use eudt or classic oracle gg protocol as well distribution server access data distribution agent so basically the data pump process of classic architecture has been replaced with distribution server on microservices so it acts as data distribution agent that supports conveying and processing data and command it replaces classical data pump process performance metric server uses metric service so performance metric server is a new addition to oracle golden gate environment which uses metric service to collect and store instance deployment performance result you can monitor oracle golden gate performance real time graphically as well okay so performance metric server is used to query and receive re performance metric server in json or xml view active process status error logs monitor system report utilization integrated third party metric tools also so lot of benefits are there with uh, golden gate microservices architecture apart from gui it is widely used okay i'll take few questions here so there is a question how much data volume can be sent in microservices and classic architecture any criteria you can send any data there is no limit it depends how you analyze for your best performance so data volume is at database level whatever data volume is there at database level you can use golden gate to replicate it now how with how much performance you need to do it it depends on configuration analysis designing everything which we discussed in the is setups are different for classic and microservices or same yes they are different of course the architecture is different hence it is different now can you please tell some details on heterogeneous replication with gg how initial load is achieved with data close to 2 to 3 tb can initial load and replicate of microservices architecture absolutely golden gate if you want to uh, perform the initial load using golden gate in between heterogeneous database definitely golden gate can help you now the day if the data size is two to three terabytes you need to create multiple process again you need to analyze design in death in that case so the best practice is to ensure you segregate the processes properly ensuring the data dependency like parent child relationship and you take yeah of course if if it's two to three terabytes of data you need to ensure that you follow zero downtime kind of approach so that even if your application is up those transactions are getting captured and later on you can replicate those okay okay how integrated extract will work for other rdbms as oracle log miner is available only for oracle right yes so integrated extract is available only for oracle database for non-oracle database integrated extract is not available 
golden gate can be used vikram as a question golden gate can be used as a dr tool for entire database the answer to the question is no the reason being i would say no or yes both the simple reason being data guard is a database level replication tool you cannot pick and choose what you want to do what you want to replicate golden gate is object level replication tool so golden gate only can only replicate your application data it cannot replicate your it doesn't replicate your sys or system data like say for example you do alter system you change any parameter on source but when when you are in data card it also reflects on target but with golden gate it doesn't so the answer to your question is gold you can only replicate app data application data using golden gate but not apart from that so the answer to your question vikram is i would say no golden gate is not a data guard replacement but yes it's a data replication which which could be used to replicate application data okay how complicated and hard it is is it to upgrade from classic to microservices do you cover this in your microservices course yes i do cover so the thing is for upgrading from classic to microservices there is you have to do the separate install now i have i am hearing that or i was going through some blogs from oracle recently that they have some utility available for it but i am not sure if it's oracle utility or third party utility and i have to test it but yes how it is done separately we do it and it's covered as part of the courses okay so now so there is a question classic and integrated extract will be available till 23c yeah so classic extract for oracle it's not available from 21c onwards but integrated extract yes it is the only type of extract and will be available i think post 21 23c as well okay so i provide all three courses oracle golden gate classic architecture microservices and very data and they are upgraded to the latest version 21c classic and microservices and very data is still on 12c so you can always access the course content of all courses over the link mentioned here i'll also mention in the that in the chat window as well so you can access the course content what is being offered and i cover a lot more than that what what is mentioned in the course content there are a lot of success stories and training feedback as well you can always visit my linkedin profiles for the feedback as well so there are a lot of success stories lot of my students are able to clear interviews successfully providing their job support in the environment they are cleared certification so lot of things so a lot of success stories you can find definitely these success stories are available on my linkedin profile as well okay so the upcoming sessions of golden gate are uh, we are starting from 30 day learning golden gate classic architecture challenge from upcoming 6th of december 2023 okay so it's a weekday batch and sessions are conducted monday to friday 9 to 10 pm eastern time and tuesday to friday 7:30 to 8:30 am indian time so central time will be 8 to 9 and pacific time would be 6 to 7 okay and as per indian time it's in morning as per us timing it's in evening and for other time zone please check accordingly and oracle golden gate very data batch will commence from either 9th or 16th of december and it will be a weekend batch and the batch will be conducted every saturday or sunday uh, 7:30 to 10 am eastern time and 6 to 8:30 pm indian time and the duration is 10 to 12 hours so duration of classic architecture is 23 to 25 hours very data is 10 to 12 hours and microservices is 12 to 15 hours microservices batch i haven't scheduled yet i will be scheduling that once these batches are about to finish so weekday weekend batch timing is always in morning eastern and evening indian weekday batch timing is evening eastern and morning indian timing okay 
now what are the offerings of the live course so you have got one year unlimited retake so i conduct classic architecture batch almost four to four to six times a year i would take conservative time four microservices i conduct three to four times a year and very data two to three times a year so you can join any session for next one year any number of times you have access to recorded sessions as well so all the sessions are recorded and you have access to those as well you get step by step activity guides for practice so the training is completely practical as well so you get step by step activity guides you have one on one doubt clearing session you have lifetime on job support so any technical issues related to golden gate you are facing in your workplace on in your first personal machine you have lifetime on job support you can discuss with me email me call me whatsapp me or if needed we'll do remote sharing as well you have lifetime whatsapp support as well whatsapp support means you'll be part of elite training whatsapp group where other training students of mine are there so you can post your questions queries over there you can answer other people question queries over there so it becomes a collective learning also i say and also you you get lab setup kit for practice so the virtual boxes which i'm sharing here with you same virtual boxes you will receive you just have to plug and play those and these virtual boxes comes with database software 19c and golden gate 21c and these are lifetime for you okay and then uh, so sessions are conducted regularly all the sessions are practical and training is interview and job oriented you can join any session any number of times for next one year sessions are live and interactive and they will pave your path towards becoming golden gate expert at the end of the session my commitment is you will be able to set up manage troubleshoot configure golden gate on your own as well as able to provide solution related to golden gate on your own to the customer so if you are interested to join the upcoming session you can always email me at ashishagarwalag or gmail.com or whatsapp me at this number i would recommend you to fill out the inquiry form so that none of your uh, query remains unanswered so i highly recommend you to fill out the inquiry form and i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you're interested to attend and we are starting guys from upcoming wednesday the session is going to start after two days and there are few few frequently asked questions which i receive will i miss anything if i join now during already running batch no we have got you covered you can watch the videos uh and come into the level of current batch and join current batch do note your one year unlimited retakes doesn't start from now it starts when you join first session of the batch and it will commence from the next batch onwards also while watching videos if you have any query i do one on one doubt clearing session as well moreover while watching recording you feel like you're not comfortable i will ensure to take one on one session for a missed session what if i miss a live session if in case you miss a live session then you go through the recorded session of live session which will be available within 24 hours one session is completed we also give you opportunity to retake this course free for next one year what happens after i sign up after sign up within 24 to 48 hours you will get email and details and further steps to help you make most out of the training do you provide lifetime on job support yes i do if you have any queries with any of the real time projects at your workplace related to golden gate i will help you with that and that's for lifetime even if you want support in 2030 you will get support that time as well i have questions before joining how can i contact you you can always email me call me whatsapp me on the number shared also i would recommend you to fill out the inquiry form how can i check reviews regarding the training you can always go through my linkedin profile youtube videos and my website creation is also in progress they are also in future you can see and i hope you like today's session so for today's session feedback please provide your feedback for the session via email recommend us on linkedin and twitter so you can always email me at ashishagarwalag@gmail.com you can connect to me over my linkedin profile you can whatsapp me or tweet me your queries and don't forget to like and subscribe the session and guys post session queries it doesn't mean the if the session has ended your questions should end or as well if you have any query you can you, i would recommend you to drop an email to me tweet drop a comment on my youtube channel or whatsapp me or send a direct message over linkedin
so much sir i'll take all the questions which are there right now on the, the chat window so will you cover upgrading patching and migration like heterogeneous and cloud so guys let me tell you one thing the training which i cover it's on oracle database the reason being because of licensing issue but yeah i do let you know the concept how golden gate connects to other databases you will get the, all this concept during the training as i told you the way golden gate works it remains same whether you are working on oracle or any non oracle database it always remains in 95 percent it just five percent how you connect whether you are connecting to on-prem or cloud heterogeneous or oracle everything remains and yes you get the access to the recording is for one year and you can always uh, renew your membership at very low price always okay so guys i hope today's session was informative and useful you were able to follow it thank you very much for joining today's session and we are starting with the live training batch on after a couple of days and guys do continue to attend my webinar i will be coming out with few webinar series now do continue to attend see hope to see you there thank you thank you very much